Hey, how's it going? Uh, Justin again here. Just have a quick tip today for uh, patients on dialysis or, you know, patients with kidney disease that need uh, some protein supplements. Um, I, you know, obviously you want to talk to your doctor and, uh, you know, go by what your doctor says. But if uh, you're like me and your doctor says that you need to get more protein into your diet, and um, maybe you need to supplement. Um, there is one supplement that's really uh, seemed to help me, and it's uh, increased my albumin levels, which is the protein in your blood. Um, one problem with kidney disease and nephrotic syndrome is that your kidneys don't pull, uh, won't let the protein go into your bloodstream and dumps it into your urine. So you're not getting the protein that you need. And uh, sometimes when this happens, um, my, my nephrologist had said to uh, add more protein to my diet as it may help. And it seems like it has because my albumin levels have increased. Um, being I'm on dialysis, um, he has me taking a um, specific brand, I'll show you here in a minute, um, of the supplement. And uh, by no means am I endorsing this or I'm, I'm not paid to do this or anything. This is just from my own experience. It may work for you. It may not. Everybody's different. And like I said, I'm not a doctor. Uh, please listen to your doctor, what they say. But this is just uh, to help if you're looking for a supplement for, for protein. Maybe ask your doctor if you can use it. Um, but what I use is what's called Nepro. And it's made by the makers of Ensure. And uh, Ensure is basically like a protein drink. It's pretty well known. Um, it usually comes in an 8-ounce bottle. Uh, Nepro is the same thing. It comes in like an 8-ounce uh, either. This is like the one version of it. And there's also a smaller like soft pack of it. That's eight, And they're both 8 ounces. But it's, uh, as you can see here, it's called Nepro. And uh, it's a nutrition uh, protein supplement. And this is specifically for people on dialysis like myself. But um, I'm sure this would probably be good for anybody with kidney disease because um, with kidney disease and dialysis, you're mainly, uh, you're watching for three things. You're watching for sodium, phosphorus, and uh, potassium levels. Those are your, three of your biggest uh, things that you have to worry about. Um, too much potassium or too little potassium, that can start uh, making you have some heart problems. Um, I know like a couple times my potassium was high because I was eating and drinking the wrong things. I was drinking too much orange juice, which really boosted up my potassium and um when I had blood work done, my doctor said, you need to change something. What are you doing that's making your potassium so high? And I figured out, man, I'm drinking orange juice. What, what am I doing here? So when I stopped drinking orange juice, um, that my potassium went back down. Um, phosphorus is um, another thing. Phosphorus is pretty much found in everything. But when your kidneys aren't working correctly, they sometimes can't filter out the phosphorus and uh, this can cause bone issues and uh, different health issues as well. So um, this is low in phosphorus to uh, you know help out with that. And then the sodium, this is low in sodium as well. Um, I, don't, I don't even know if there is any sodium in it. But uh, the sodium obviously if you have kidney disease or you're on dialysis, you want to watch the, your uh, salt and sodium intake, obviously, because um, sodium makes your body retain water. And also, uh, you know, if you eat something very salty, it's going to make you want to drink more water. And if your kidneys aren't able to uh, push out that water because they're damaged or, you know, or you're on dialysis and you're dependent on dialysis to get rid of the water, in your body, you don't want to overdo it with water. Um, you may be on a fluid restriction or just, you know, and you might just start swelling up if you have too much uh, fluid. 
in your diet. So um, this definitely goes along with all that to help and uh, not cause additional problems. And uh, I found it, like I said, it, it helps increase my protein levels in my blood. And uh, it's been helping out like with dialysis. Um, I lost a lot of muscle mass. Like I'm pretty much a uh, skin and bones kind of guy right now. And I'm trying to build that back up so I can, you know, hopefully get a little bit of muscle or even some fat on my bones. And uh, my doctors definitely want me to be uh, getting a lot of protein in my diet. So, um, <coughs> and when I say the protein, um, clean proteins, um, obviously like uh, free range uh, organic chickens. Uh, if you eat bread meat, um, you want to get grass fed beef. Um, like organic grass-fed beef and then anything like uh, if you eat fish wild-caught uh, salmon um, you, just, you just don't want stuff that's processed or um, a lot of grain-fed like beef has uh, the fat in it is actually pretty toxic and that's where all the toxins go in the animal when you have a grain-fed uh, animal all the toxins go to the fat Whereas in grass-fed, the toxin there's actually no toxins, and that fat can actually be healthy fat for you. So I mean, there's definitely advantages to the grass-fed and the uh, organic uh, uh, meats. Of course, it's going to cost a little more, but that's because it's uh, a higher quality of meat. So um, just figure it's an investment in your health to eat that better protein, and it's going to help. Uh, you know, with your kidneys as well. Um, so, like I said, it's just a uh, short video just to explain a couple of things about protein and your diet and one of the supplements I use. Hopefully this helps. Um, and if you have any questions or you want a topic covered uh, related to kidney disease or minimal change disease in, in particular, um, feel free to leave a comment and uh, I'll, uh, I'll definitely uh, try to cover that in an upcoming video um, also if uh, please consider subscribing so you don't miss the next videos and uh, like this video if this has been helpful for you uh, thanks for watching and see you next time